following program was produced by the United States Courts. I think it was pretty extraordinary for me to have this kind of opportunity to go from knowing no lawyers and then to end up being a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals. I grew up in Detroit. My parents strongly believed in education. I feel very blessed that both of them were able to go to historically black colleges and graduate. My mother wanted to be a teacher but blacks could not get a contract in the public schools, and so she taught in, for 12 years in a school for delinquent children. My dad had a degree in psychology and political science. He couldn't find a job in psychology, and so he drove a bus for 20 years. And I said, Daddy, how could you stand that? You had a college degree and you were driving a bus. And he said, I did what I had to do. I wanted to make it better for you and your sisters and no one could take my education away from me. And so my parents were really my inspiration. I wanted to be a teacher. Started teaching in the elementary schools in the Detroit public schools. Loved being a teacher. I'm still a teacher at heart. But realized that I might be able to do more if I became a lawyer. I didn't know anything about law school, and a friend of mine said he was going, and so I decided that I would go too. I didn't know you had to take a test to get into law school. I took the test, fortunately I did well, and Notre Dame called and said they had a spot. In law school, I always wanted to be a trial lawyer. That passion I had for trial law continued and ultimately I started working for a judge on the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the court I sit on now. As a woman and black, there were people that wondered whether I was capable of doing the job. And I could see sometimes that skepticism in their eyes, but I knew what my abilities were. And so I just worked very hard. You have to just know that there are people out there that are going to be racist, that are going to be sexist, and you have to learn how to deal with it. And to me, the way to deal with it is to strive for excellence. The question here is whether the, the trial court made a mistake. I did not get here on the bench on my own. You know, I stood on the shoulders of my parents. I stood on the shoulders of people like Thurgood Marshall and Connie Motley and the judge who hired me. It really does boil down to hard work and determination. If you have the willpower and the strength and you believe in yourself and believe you can achieve, I believe we can realize our dreams. Mm -hmm.